Hello, everyone. Joe Goodberry here to talk about the Bengals' best right tackle in franchise history, but also make the case for the generation's best right tackle and what I believe is the best right tackle in modern football history. That, of course, is Willie Anderson. In 13 NFL seasons, Willie Anderson played 195 games, rarely missing a start, was honored with four Pro Bowls from 2003 to 2006, was an alternate in 01 and 02, and had three straight All-Pro honors from 2004 to 2006. Known for being a powerful run blocker, Willie Anderson, with that massive frame, strong hands, and quick feet, blocked for some of the best running backs in Bengals history. Not just blocking for six 1,000-yard seasons for Corey Dillon and three 1,000-yard seasons for Rudy Johnson, Anderson helped block for the games that broke the single-game rookie rushing records, the single-game total rushing record, and Cincinnati Bengals franchise best running games and running seasons. But Anderson also became a master technician and a fantastic pass blocking offensive lineman. Quarterbacks that saw their best NFL seasons were Jeff Blake, Carson Palmer, uh, John Kitna, who had comeback player of the year, and Joe Flacco's rookie season. The receivers that gained 1,000 yards while benefiting from Anderson's blocking may be equally as impressive. Chad Johnson saw six 1,000-yard seasons, TJ Hushmanzada with two, Carl Pickens with two, Darnay Scott with one, and Derek Mason with one in Baltimore. But what makes Willie Anderson an all-time great right tackle? Don't take my word for it. Let the voters for the All-Pro, for the Pro Bowl, coaches and players, they've said it with their honors. In an era that included Willie Rofe, Jonathan Ogden, Orlando Pace, and Walter Jones, it was incredibly hard to crack the Pro Bowl and All-Pro lists, especially as a right tackle. And Willie Anderson did it. How difficult was this to do exactly? During Willie Anderson's career, there were 105 Pro Bowl offensive tackle seasons. Only 14 times was it a right tackle. Willie Anderson earned four of those. The last right tackle to make four straight Pro Bowls was Jackie Slater between 85 and 90. As far as All-Pro nods go, 95 offensive tackle seasons were honored. 11 were for right tackles. Willie Anderson accounted for three in a row. How rare is that to do three in a row? Well, the last one was in the 1970s, Dan Deerdorf. But you can also include Ron Yeri and Rayfield right from the 70s. Those three guys saw three all-pro honors in a row, and it hasn't been done since. And those three, plus the aforementioned Jackie Slater, are all in the Hall of Fame. Those four guys are the ones that you should compare Willie Anderson to. And he compares favorably. Over the last 40 years of modern football, only Willie Anderson was awarded with three straight All-Pro honors as a right tackle. I wish we had today's advanced analytics back then. Services like Pro Football Focus graded Willie Anderson's final three seasons in his NFL career. And in his final season with the Cincinnati Bengals, 2006, Willie Anderson allowed just 11 pressures and one sack all year. His 98.9 pass block efficiency rating only trailed Jonathan Ogden's 99%. It's been said that Anderson only gave up 16 sacks in his 13-year career, so it isn't a stretch to imagine that most of his NFL seasons look just like this. And you may say, well, he played on the right side. And I would say, well, he played 15 games against Hall of Fame edge rushers, and he surrendered one sack to the all-time sack leader Bruce Smith with just 19 seconds to go while the Bengals are down by two scores. It happens. One of those Hall of Famers, Michael Strahan, says Willie Anderson is the generation's best right tackle. But I think it goes a step further. I think he's the best right tackle in modern football history, and his accolades and honors agree. And because of all that, I believe that Willie Anderson is very deserving of the opportunity to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame.